In today's class, we're going to learn about MySQL's explain command. This is one of the most important commands that you can use in SQL development, bar none. We're going to work with our example data set where we have three tables, a student table, a grade table, and an instructor table. These are very simple data sets. Our largest table has six rows of data, and so of course all of our queries work very fast. However, using these data sets, I can tell you how the explain commands work, and you can use explain on much larger data sets to try and optimize your queries and your searches. It's very easy to use MySQL's explain command. You just prepend the word explain to your select statement. So our select statement here is one that we've already seen before. We're going to select name, class, and average score from instructor in a joined grade using class and year where name is equal to Edwards and group by class. So we've got two tables, instructor and grade. We're in, doing an inner join on those tables and we're going to select name, class, average score and we're going to explain that. Instead of seeing our standard output that we're used to, we see this table that's shown below. The table has several columns and the table tells us all about how the select works. The left half of the table tells us something about the select type, the tables that were used, and the keys that were potentially used. And I'll go through what each of those columns means in just a second. The right half of the output tells us how the select statement was done. And so in this case, we've selected things using where, we have a temporary table, and we had to do some sorting on our data. The key piece of information that the explain command tells you is the number of rows that will be searched. And the total number of rows that will be searched is the product of these two numbers. 5 compared to 6. 5 times 6. So 30 different rows or 30 different comparisons will have to be performed on this data. The goal of optimizing SQL queries is to reduce this number right here. If we can reduce or perhaps even eliminate, as we'll see, some of these searches will speed up our SQL commands and will reduce the amount of time it takes for us to get our data back. The columns of the output describe the different facets of the search. The first column just describes the number of the query, 1, 2, 3, and so on. The second column describes the select type, the statement that's being used. In the third column, we see the tables that that particular select statement refers to. And of course, you need to look at that to decide which table to build your index upon. If there's a join, we learn in the fourth column what kind of join there is. And then the next three columns all contain information about the keys. The possible keys that could be used, the actual key that was used, and the length of that key. Remember, shorter keys are better with some caveats. Zero length keys are not very good. And then the ref column tells us the columns from the table that's described in column 3 of the output, the columns from that table that were compared to the index. Because of course you can build an index on multiple columns but you may not necessarily use all of those columns in searching that index. As I've described, the rows has a critical piece of information, which is the number of rows that will be searched with your query. 
And then finally we see additional information about the query in the last column of the output, labeled extra. So let's add some indices to our table. We're going to add two indices to the instructor table, one index on the name column, and one index on the pair of class and year. And then our grade table will add an index class and year. When we repeat our search, we see that now our grade table has a class index that's used. When we look at the, the columns in the grade table that could be compared to our index, we see that class and year were compared to the key called class. If you recall, we added an index class and year to our grade table, but that's only one index, and it's indexing both class and year in the same index. The index is called class. We see that the instructor table had two possible keys that could be used, name and class, but neither of them were used in this search. We've reduced our query from 30 possible rows to 5 possible rows that have to be searched. So we've made a big improvement, a six-fold improvement on the time it would take for this SQL query to complete. Let's take a look at another example. But before I start this example, I want to start by deleting all of the current indices that we have on our table. One of the ways that you can do this is you can use the command show index to understand the indices that you have. So if we say show index from grade, our output looks like this. We have an index called class that indexes class and year. We learn some other things about the index, um, for example, what type of index it is, and so on. But I don't particularly want to go into that information right now. So let's go ahead and drop this index class from our table grade, and we can repeat the process on our table instructor. We can show the indices. We learn that we have two indices, one called name and one called class, and we can go ahead and drop those indices as well. Of course, in real life, you don't really want to drop the indices, but for the purposes of me demonstrating the explain command, I want to start with no indices on my table so that we can see the improvement that occurs by a properly uh, indexed database. Now that we've deleted our indexes, let's have a look at what would happen with a query. This is a select statement that comes from our class on subselects. I'm not going to tell you what this statement does. If you want to know, you have to go watch that class. But you can see that as before, we've prepended the word explain on the front of our select statement. So we don't get the results we get an explanation of what would be done, rather than what actually is done. You can see that there are two tables, grade and instructor, that are used, and that as before we have 30 potential rows that we have to look through to get the data back that we want to, to get. In this case, we're just going to optimize the table instructor. You can see that we're selecting year from instructor. So presumably we'd want to index the column year. We could index other columns for other purposes, but for this purpose, all we're going to index is year. So we alter table instructor and we add an index to year. When we repeat our select statement, we see something very weird. Even though we've added an index, 
we don't have any keys used in the query. Instead, we have six rows tested in our primary query. That's our select star from grade using the grade table. In our subquery, we don't have any rows that are used, and we don't even have a table that's used. When we look at extra, we learn that the select table has been optimized away. At this point, MySQL isn't even using the table to get the data back. It's just using the index that we've created. So it's an extremely efficient query because we don't have to go to the raw data. We can go to our sorted index and if we want to understand the minimum, the maximum, the range of values, we can get that directly from our index. So in summary, what we've seen today is that MySQL explain statement can be used to explore the order that the optimizer chooses to process your queries. This is a really fundamental, important operation that as an SQL developer you need to understand. The key piece of information is the product of the number of rows that will be assessed. That's the critical value. The other information in the table of course is important, but that product of those two numbers, or more numbers if you have a larger query, will give you an estimate of how long your query will take to, to run. If you reduce those numbers, your query will be quicker. If you increase those numbers, your query will be slower. And the goal that you need to strive for is to try and optimize your tables away so that you don't even use the tables in a query, you just use the B-tree indices.